It makes you a stronger person when you lose everything and then you work so hard to gain it all back. I was raised with, you know, you get a good job and you go to college and you get married and you have children and you do all that. That wasn't the route I went. I started using methamphetamine when I was 16. I used it to write my term papers or to have fun with friends and it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't until I had my daughter, Catherine, that I really crossed that threshold into addiction. <laughs> what do I do now? I have no idea how to take care of a child. The only thing that I knew that could make me feel better was using drugs. I lost everything, it was completely gone. I had nothing. House was foreclosed on, husband left, took her, my pets were gone, my car was gone. And then I was just left with this broken piece of a person that I didn't even know who I was anymore. It's like most children and coming up in the 50s, there's a lot of things that we didn't have, you know, money. <laughs> My life was fine. I mean, you know, it was like, you remember, it takes a village to raise a child. You know, my aunties and grandmother and other people's mothers and grandmothers, they were like the village. That's where my compassion and my love comes from. But you know, kids get curious. When you do drugs, you give up a certain part of your soul, your connection with family, and it's just the streets. I am in the process of transitioning from female to male. Ever since I was a kid, I would swim in swim trunks only. I only wanted to shop in the boys' clothing. My mom and sister had to bribe me to wear dresses, so I would make them pay me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just nothing I ever felt comfortable with. I've always been too scared to be out there. I have been called names and I've been assaulted. And so I hold it all in and holding back who you are for fear of being judged or hurt, that's a heavy weight. You build up a, a disdain for people. You don't wanna trust anybody because being this outcast, you've been treated a certain way for so long. I don't know, I don't know what went in my brain. I just know I woke up one day and I said, I can't do it anymore. I got on the phone and started calling rehab. Everybody else just kind of, oh, you don't have money, no insurance, sorry, can't help you, click. I called Prototypes and they had a bed for me within the next week and I went and I was scared to death. I was welcomed with open arms. Immediately after I got out of prison, the same day I went to the Walden House. I say, shit, I don't want to die. I want to live. The counselors are from the street, just like me. I finally realized I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And I have to learn from someone who's been there, just like I learned that other shit from people like myself. Who you are, is separate from your behaviors. Is everybody on that page? What have you been doing? What have you been sabotaging in your life? I sabotaged my family. And I didn't see it as being selfish. I saw it as well. Because, because we lost our father, I can do whatever I want. I can self-medicate. I can hurt myself. But really what I was doing was I was destroying my family. And it was selfish and it, was, and it hurts. I mean, I haven't seen my sisters in over a year. And it, it kills me. Oh. I miss him. I miss my niece's birthday. I missed her first day of high school. I missed Christmas two years in a row. I miss Thanksgiving. You get what you put into this house. You can bring negativity here, and that's what you're going to get is negativity. But if you bring the hope of healing into this house, and you want to change your behaviors, and you want to be the better person you know you can be inside, because that's what this house is going to give you. Absolutely. This is a house of healing. About two years ago, that's when I was like, Dad, I think I wanna like transition. And his re response was like, oh, I get it, yeah. I should have like worked on cars with you. I think that would have been something fun for us both. And I was like, yeah, that would have been awesome, you know? Now through Lion and Martin Services, I really feel like I'm making steps to being me, like genuinely me. 
It's definitely more than just a place to get my hormones. They were very open, kind. I filled out all the paperwork and it was just like pronouns. And they had a list of names that I didn't even know that you could identify as. They ask every time you go in, like, what's going on? How can we help you, not just physically, but emotionally? You can just kick up your feet and be like, this is me, this is who I am. And then everybody's like, awesome, cool. How do you go from a garbage bag full of possessions and not ever knowing if you're going to work again to having a, a great job that you love? How do you go from, you know, very little higher education to be six classes away from a master's degree in four years? You do that by realizing I, I'm better than what they said I was. I'm better than what I thought I was. I'm better than all of that. And I'm going to do it and nothing's going to stop me. I live for my children, but I realized along the way that if I'm not intact, then I can't take care of them. I got my daughter back, who I was told by uh, just about everybody, you'll never have her again. You lost her, you're done, your chance is over, you have no more chances. And by the grace of God, I got her. She's with me. She's awesome. And I got her. I missed six years of her life, but she's with me now. And I think she's pretty proud of me because I fought for her. I'm just this far away from the curve if I ever want to go back. But it's nothing, it's no attraction back there for me. You know what I mean? I've been there, I've done all that. You know what I mean? But I never did this. I never lived before. What better sacrifice than to try to get some soul to know itself. If it's a truth within yourself, you absolutely need to follow that truth. Transitioning, it's taken a lot of the fear that I carry away. There's always others like you that love you and want to help support you. As hard as it can be and for sure will be, Every great endeavor starts from a place of being brave. <laughs>